HR Party of One is brought to you by Bernie Portal, the all-in-one HRIS that saves you time so you can foster a better place to work. In this episode, let's talk about the purpose of recruiters and how to choose the right ones for your organization. Recruiting firms occupy a niche market helping companies find and hire candidates. Understanding the reasons your organization may need a recruiter and the best ways to choose one are critical. Have you ever seen the consequences of contracting the wrong recruiting firm? Let's follow what someone online shared about their experience working in a recruiting firm. I briefly worked as a recruiter in Dallas. I was stunned by how much illegal stuff goes on. They had me checking social media to see if candidates were attractive and white enough to go to jobs. There was a minority drawer where applications disappeared. I quit. As a compliance-minded HR professional, you may be just as horrified by this as I am. Recruiters have a lot of power over who they help you select for your organization, and you want the best of the best. So you need to know how to choose the best recruiter for your purposes. And as HR, you're the one best equipped to work as the go-between when it comes to finding, hiring, and communicating with a firm. Later in this episode, I'll share with you a recruiter's epic failure of asking the wrong questions when recruiting for a role you may be familiar with, an HR professional. Before then, in this HR Party of One episode, we'll cover the purpose of recruiters, why HR should act as the go-between, and ways this relationship can improve your organization. Let's dive in. The purpose of recruiters. Recruiters serve as the knowledgeable and interconnected middleman that provide pre-selected candidates for an organization's open roles. While some of your open roles may be filled by hiring applicants that are found through average means, such as job boards, specialist roles or leadership positions are trickier to fill. Sometimes an open role in your organization requires more than sifting through applications. For example, a hospital seeking a new head of oncology wouldn't post the available opportunity online. They would contract a reputable recruiting firm that specializes in medical positions. Small employers also have roles that necessitate outsourcing your recruitment. Let's cover just some of the reasons a recruiting firm's help may be needed to fill a role. You're trying to fill a leadership position. An open role requires niche skills, experience, certification, or education. You have difficulty finding candidates due to various factors like location or commuting needs. You lack time or resources to develop a decent candidate pool. You lack the networking resources to find the right candidates. A tight labor market makes finding and hiring the right person more difficult. A small employer may use a recruiting firm to source candidates for the leadership role on a new team, which requires certain qualities and experience. An HR party of one like yourself may be too busy to sift through hundreds of applications, but a recruiter can provide an ideal pool of candidates to narrow the search from the get-go. That way, you can ensure they are finding you an ad, whereas hiring managers with little time to fill empty seats may settle for hiring a fit. For more about hiring an ad versus a fit, check out the episode I linked for you. Something important to note is that recruiters have access to a much larger network of candidates. If you have a particular role that you need to fill, a recruiter can reach out to the people that are not actively searching called passive candidates. They may be satisfied in their role, but if the allure of your organization is significant, then a good recruiter will have them jumping ship for you. And honestly, candidates may find it complimentary to field calls from recruiters that recognize their talent and want to poach them for your organization. A suave recruiter may be able to entice talent away from their current workplaces using flattery and highlighting their increased opportunities at your company. Recruiters also keep an extensive network of those they interact with, often logging notes during their phone calls with potential candidates to determine their current role, job satisfaction, compensation range, career goals, and more. This enables recruiters to use a depth of expertise to net you great hires with less time and effort. When you describe your ideal hire to them, they may already have several options to call right away. There are many considerations to choosing the right recruiter for your organization. Here's why it should be you doing it. Why HR should work with recruiters. Choosing the right recruiting firm is a decision you should help your leadership make. HR should be involved anytime contractors like recruiters are selected for organizational needs 
from internet services to plumbing to catering. You're the point of contact for many of these specific functions outside vendors serve, and you're the one who looks at the contracts, handles invoices, ensures timely payment, schedules arrival or work times, and more. That's why here at Bernie Portal, we call our own HR professionals organizational success. They do all the things that contribute to running the business smoothly. Hiring a recruitment firm is no different. However, there are more specific reasons why HR should help leadership on this venture. Let's talk about some of the major ones. You have the most knowledge about your organization. You know your company's compensation levels, varied management styles, cultural norms and expectations, development opportunities, etc. When your leaders are trying to choose a recruiting firm, you can act as the organization's encyclopedia to answer questions and provide direction. You are forward thinking. Your leadership has the big picture in mind, but you can provide more context to short-term decisions like hiring for a particular role. By combining the long and short-term perspectives, you can help your leaders make the most informed and strategic decision. You might take the backlash of using a bad recruiter. Using a recruiter that ends up not working out wastes time and money and can run the potential risk of liability as well. You're the one keeping your organization compliant. Think back to our example in the beginning. Imagine if potential candidates knew how the firm was treating their resumes based on their race. Any company connected to a recruiting firm like this is running a severe legal and ethical risk. You have a responsibility to vet the recruiting firms you may want to use. Not all recruiters are created equal, and sometimes a bad recruiter can damage your organization's relationship with a potential great hire. Let's see what Ruby thinks. I've never coded a single line in Ruby or Ruby on Rails, but recruiters won't stop scouting me as a Ruby developer. The fact that the word Ruby is on my resume slash portfolio doesn't mean I'm the girl for you. My name is literally Ruby. This situation isn't just unprofessional, it also indicates a lack of care and an attention that you don't want attached to your brand. Picking the right recruiter is essential to avoiding situations like this. So here are some things to consider when trying to identify your best recruiting firm options. Does this recruiter specialize in your industry? Does this recruiter have an extensive network of contacts? Does this recruiter have a high placement rate? Does this recruiter have a solid system for contacting and responding to candidates? Does the recruiter ask you the right questions to determine the parameters of a role? Is the recruiter responsive towards employers? How does the recruiter expect compensation to be measured? For example, are you paying them on an hourly basis or a percentage of the candidate's potential salary? Recruiting firms request different methods of payment, so ensure the one you want to use clearly outlines their prices. After your leadership picks the best recruiting firm to work with, you should remain the point of contact between your boss and the recruiters. You know what a high performer looks like in your organization, so you are the best position to filter candidates before they interview with your leadership. So the reasons why you should be the go-to for selecting and communicating with a recruitment firm are clear. Let's go over the ways your relationship with a recruiting firm can improve your role at your organization. Ways this relationship can improve your organization. Developing a closer relationship with a recruiting firm comes with a host of benefits. Recruiters maintain a large and valuable network of contacts. If you ask a recruiter how many connections they have on LinkedIn, the ballpark estimate is likely in the thousands, which means they have access to thousands of potential candidates for your organization. While some roles require the contractual obligation of a recruiter, not every role requires one. A good relationship with a recruiter means you may be able to pick up the phone and give them a call, which can help you find appropriate candidates or even determine the market value of certain positions. If you want to learn more about how to determine the market value of an employee, plus why you should, check out the previous episode I linked for you in the description. Recruiting firms offer a wealth of knowledge on the market, industry, workforce trends, economic factors of the world of work, and more. If you're trying to determine compensation strategy, a recruiting firm can tell what similar positions are making at other places in your industry. That is invaluable data that helps you improve culture, retention, and your own recruitment efforts. For more information, check out the episode I linked in the description. 
If you're happy with the work a recruiting firm does for you, a glowing review can go a long way towards showing the depth of your appreciation and make them more likely to help out every once in a while. Their insight may help you develop a more competitive compensation package, direct you towards the other resources to find great candidates, and more. As an HR party of one, you may not have started your HR career in HR. It's likely you took on parts of the role and then transitioned into what your leadership trusted you to take over, resulting in the many hats you wear today. So here's how it looks when maybe not the best recruiting firm tries to recruit for an HR position like yours. Which of the following items might help an HR professional drive employee retention and success? A ping pong table, additional responsibilities, a raise in pay. So what do you think of this? The right answer is classified as wrong. And the other answers are not only wrong, but insulting to the intelligence of an HR professional. Now imagine if you didn't do your due diligence and a recruiting firm developed tests like this to help fill your critical roles. This is why HR should be involved. HR wears many hats and has a hand in many pots. Selecting the best recruitment firm is absolutely within the realm of your responsibilities, so you can hire the best people and create a great place to work. Also, developing a good relationship with recruiters can help you cast a wider net in the future for other candidates and make more informed decisions on compensation strategy in your organization. As always, remember that your role is as strategic as you make it. That's it for this episode. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notifications about our newest episodes, which are released every Tuesday and Thursday. As always, thanks for watching.